Fossil- und Nuklearindustrie hat mit ihrem Lobbying sogar geschafft, dass die Europäische Kommission einen Taxonomievorschlag vorgelegt hat, der alles andere als grün ist. Jedes Schulkind weiß, dass Gas keine erneuerbare Energie ist und Atomenergie gefährlich. Und trotzdem sollen diese Energieformen künftig ein grünes Label für Investitionen bekommen. Wie Industrielobbying funktioniert, haben wir auch auf der letzten COP in Glasgow sehr deutlich gesehen. So that's what the United Emirates have done this year with the national oil company to produce hydrogen, so-called blue hydrogen, but that's completely useless, it's even more fossil fuels. How can you actually invest into nuclear if you have a whole country full of sunshine and desert and then waste your taxpayers' money on nuclear, which is three to four times more expensive than every solar power panel? We were just kicked out from the setting here from the United Emirates. kinds of nice wording, additional matches with the increased, no date for that, reduction of fossil fuels, no clear dates for that, and there is no end for coal, they are still building coal-fired power plants, there is no end for gas extraction in the Mediterranean Sea, there is still exploration, and there's nice wordings covering it all up, pure greenwashing. Advertisement for blue hydrogen again. Saudi Arabia will now transform their oil into hydrogen. This kind of hydrogen lobbying here is useless. We're having more than 500 fossil fuel lobbyists here on the COP. It's the biggest delegation of all. There's a lot of greenwashing, there's gas industry pushing, and we're still spending taxpayers' money in subsidizing fossil fuels, which we could end every single day. It's just not happening up to now. They're investing into carbon capture and storage, another industrial way of trying to sequester the carbon back, which uses a lot of energy, costs a lot of money. So how are you going to um, create enough uh, uh, green electricity to support the transition in terms with of... With renewables, simply with renewables. It's the cheapest, most effective and best delivering source of energy. The problem is that only a certain amount of biogenic substance growing every year. It's just empty here. Nobody is participating. It's a real shame. This Confederation for Agriculture and Livestock is directly responsible for the deforestation of the Amazon. They're the biggest lobbies of this agricultural, chemical and fossil industry. The Ministry of Environment and then you have Brazilian Confederation of Agriculture and Livestock. How cynical can you be? And why should any government invest into nuclear if it's like three to four times, minimum three to four times more expensive uh, an energy price than renewables? How long does it take to build a nuclear power station? At the uh, moment it's about 10 years. So why should I wait for something that is not yet existing while I have renewable energy sources which we can use immediately, build fast and solve climate crisis with that? It looks as if Qatar is going to solve the climate crisis with football stadiums, lots of them. That's how we're going to solve the climate crisis with football stadiums.